this is Inspired Joe Min, and today we're going to be doing a DIY for the Cosplay Roulette series for Asuka Langley's high school uniform, or just the school uniform from Neon Genesis Evangelion. Now, I was really inspired by this, and I always wanted to cosplay Asuka, so it's kind of like a two-for-one for me. But if you're really interested in this video, hit the like and subscribe, and let's go ahead and get started. To get started, I'm going to go ahead and use my drawing reference from my sketchbook. Now this reference I did use because I have limited fabric along with the paper bags for saving money cost and fabric costs, if not the world cost. Once you have everything cut out and laid flat, go ahead and start on making your pattern piece. I used a t-shirt for this simpler design of Asuka's under sleeve like the Peter Pan color blouse that she is wearing in the cosplay or the show. I'm using this as a simpler reference instead of making my own just to add more simplicity on my fabrics and not waste enough time or materials. Once you have your fabric piece for the center front completed, go ahead and do the center back. If you don't know what the center front and back are, they consist of the back of the shirt and the front of the shirt. And sometimes your back is going to be a little bit different if you don't want it just to be seen with a higher cut around the neckline than you have in the front of your shirt. Once you have that cut out, go ahead and label everything. It makes it a lot easier once you start cutting out your fabric pieces to sew together. Sorry for the atrocious noises in the background. I can't undo that. That's the garbage can outside. Fuck you, garbage man. Anyways, you're going to actually go ahead after you make your pattern pieces for the collar, sleeves, etc. Go ahead and start tracing it onto your fabric that you have precisely to where you still have enough room. Once you have that, this is how the box pleated Oscar's skirt and the pieces for the shirt should look like once everything is cut from the fabric. Now what you're going to do with this next part is you're taking the right side that you have here this is the right side, this is the wrong side because the seam is showing. You're taking the right side and putting it with the other right side. So now you're just seeing the wrong ends, right? With the seam allowance and crap, you know what I mean? So you're just gonna perfectly line that up and you're going to pin it so you can sew all around the edges of just the sleeves, like the top shoulders and around the sides here. So you have a complete fitted shirt. Yep. And then later on, we'll add in a zipper. Well, once you go ahead and sew all the pieces together, go ahead and feel free to sew in that collar. I'm just tucking in one of the part of the folds and then doing it on the other end. So when you turn the shirt inside out, the collar should be properly worn and sewn together. There's a lot of collar tutorials. I'll try to link one down below if you really need help making your own. I'm going to now take my zipper and add it into the shirt along with adding my suspender parts to the bottom box pleated skirt for Asuka. I'm just trying to see what length is going to work for the zipper as well. So once you have the pieces ironed down and sewn together to complete the shirt and the skirt, you're going to go ahead and insert your zipper. Now the zipper you can actually replace with the buttons, but I just choose to use a zipper so it's more efficient. I'm gonna cut straight down the middle of the shirt, and then once I've pinned and sewed the zipper on, I'm gonna cut off the excess of the zipper that's not needed, and you have the complete shirt. Excuse me, can you, can you get away from my fabric, please? Thank you. Excuse me, what do you want? What do you want, please? You're such a butt. Such a butt. I love you, but you're annoying me right now. I need to show this off. Okay? Once you have sewn up the complete top of the school uniform, this is how the Peter Pan collar blouse should look like. And you can add buttons. I just simply added a zipper to make it a little bit easier. But let's start on the ribbon. The ribbon is something you can always find, but I'm going to use elastic band to help make the ribbon go around my neck like a regular seifuku. Now I'm taking leftover bits of ribbon, you can use fabric, whichever, but I'm using leftover materials so it goes with the cosplay roulette. And then I'm going to attach it to make it go around the neck band. 
and once you have that all sewn together, you should have the cosplay at its final complete stage. Alright guys, so with this cosplay roulette, if I had to give myself a pass or fail, I would say I, uh, I'm moderately pass. Let me tell you why. The thing of this is I didn't do the collar as well rounded all the way around. I thought I did it to the longest measurement, but it seems like I had to add this on just to make a rounded collar a bit more. I could fix the, the ribbon to be a bit more a little professional instead of using a leftover ribbon piece, probably from a gift wrap, but I'm totally fine with it because I don't waste material. I will say if you're curvy like me, um, find a little bit more blue material. With this, if you don't notice, this is actually slipping off because I didn't sew it on. So I use these like double-sided Velcro. Don't do that unless you're sewing it on because now it's just slipping off whenever. Down here, it's, if you guys have noticed, it's like moving my thing up instead of down. So it makes my skirt look shorter than it is. So I have to keep tucking my shirt down and tucking my suspender skirt. The girls downstairs, you literally can't bend. You have to squat. You have to squat, my friends, because you can't be showing the world a full moon in the broad daylight. We can't have solar eclipses out here. So if I had to give myself a grading point average, I give myself a good old, uh, probably B minus to like a C plus, because it does look like really well executed. But uh, there could be a little hints here and there I could fix on, but I'll worry about that later. Going off with a bang, let's go ahead and finish off Oscar Langley's uniform today. And I hope you enjoyed this cosplay roulette video. Do you think I should make more? What would you be looking forward to? Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit the like and subscribe button with the bell notification watching. But see you later, gents later. Have a great day. Goodbye.